guys and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be another get ready with me. It's a very rainy, very gloomy day. So I thought I'd do a autumn kind of makeup or like what you guys call fall because that's what you guys are heading into at the moment. Whereas we're in summer, but I'm very inspired by the weather to do an autumn, very full glam look. It's not hot. It's very nice. It's, like I guess it's a gloomy day. It's perfect to do just a little bit, of, a little bit of glam to like boost my morale up or something like that. So this is going to be like a chit chat, get ready with me, just because I feel like I feel like doing a little chit chat. I like them more than voiceovers, but I do feel like I connect with you on a deeper level when I'm talking with you one on one rather than just whipping through the routine. So if you guys are not interested in a long chit chat tutorial, then this is probably not for you. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's a couple of different products I'm trying out. I have a few samples and stuff from Napoleon, from Laura Mercier's, a couple of things. You know, it just she's not like that that I shall be uh, trying out for you guys. So classically like in autumn it's when the sun starts to dip, there's not a long day so we're not out in the sun getting nice and bronzed up, we start to go a little bit wider. So what I'm going to do is kind of give a bit of a radiant bronze primer to my skin. This is from Laura Mercier, it's called their foundation primer and it just appears to uh, only come in basically just one shade. So I'm just going to apply this over my skin to give it a little bit of colour, a bit of bronze, a bit of radiance, you know, all that good stuff. And I'll definitely bring it. Whoa! Damn! And I'll definitely bring this down my neck as well to give it a bit of colour. Bit of spice to my life. Damn, that definitely tints the skin. Oh, I am using this in summer. Oh, damn, my son. Damn. Do I look more radiant now? I feel it. I'm feeling it. Like, look at that glow. Oh, this is going to just be literally my everyday thing. Like, I'll just apply one of this. One of this. <laughs> I'll just apply this and then walk out the door and I'll look amazing. <laughs> so, I'm just letting that sink in a little bit and choosing my foundation. So, I think I might do something a bit more foolish coverage. A bit more foolish coverage. I don't want anything, like, too cray-cray. I might even mix some of that radiance thing into my foundation just to get a bit more glowier so if that wasn't enough I'm gonna mix some of this in with my airborne perfecting liquid foundation with SPF 15 and I'm in the shade natural neutral beige sorry if you guys haven't seen my review on this foundation I suggest going and having a look I just talk about more how it's better for your skin than usual foundation just because it is toxin free hasn't got all those nasties in it i mean like i said i'll give you like a full review on it if you do want to check out the actual video link in the description so today i'm just going to use my la girl creamy beige concealer to conceal under my eyes and center of the face oh she's getting low i'm running out i was going to use my instant age rewind concealer but i can't find it so we're using this baby today and of course, just blend it out with the same beauty sponge. So another new product that I'm trying out for you guys today. This is the Mattifying Mineral like Powder. It says primer, but I'm going to be using it as a powder today. And on a dry beauty sponge, I'm just going to press this underneath my eyes, down the center of my face. Basically anywhere we place the concealer. So, brows are on. I did the same routine as usual. Make sure to leave the link in the description bar down below and in the cards up above if you would like to check it out. But I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Day of fears today. I didn't even carve them out. I was just trying a little bit of something new that I have been experimenting with lately. I will let you in on the tip. I just have to have tried it out for a little while and see if I am loving it. But it did work out like a hell, a hell of well today. So, stay tuned for that. Anywho, so I think I might move on to the eyes before I finish off the face. Because I do have an idea of like what kind of glammy, kind of autumn-y eye look I want to do today. So I'm super excited. So let's get to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking I may use my Chi Chi palette for this day. So the beginning shade, I'm going to take this kind of like peachy orange shade and mix it with this subtle brown shade. And I'm just kind of chucking this through the crease, mainly the outer portion, and then dragging whatever's left through the rest of the crease just to deepen that area. I'm using a petite crease brush to just beaty dubs. Just building that up. We'll like 
properly blended out in a sec but I just want to pack on the initial colour first making sure not to drag it past the corner of your eye too otherwise you can start to get a little bit of a droopy eye going and we ain't about that droop so now you can see I've cut like the initial shade I'm going to go in with a lighter shade and a fluffier brush taking my 221 soft crease from Zueva and then what else <laughs> It's my typical brush to use. I'm going to take this light orange shade and just chuck that above that deeper orange. Just using soft blending motion, you don't want to take away too much of that pigment from the orange, you're just softening the edges. So I'm actually not touching the bristles to my crease area, keeping it focused just above. I'm kind of just wanting like a little bit more orange. I'm just going to take this shade from my Sugar Peel Burning Hearts palette. This is the shade Flame Point. I'm just going in with that petite crease brush. I'm not going to bother wiping it off. We can go in with it, whatever's on it too. And just packing that on. Just on top a little bit. Just for a little bit of a hint. More orange. Yeah, just checking a bit more of that subtle brown through the crease too. Because I do want a little bit more. Like, still want it to be orange. But, like, I don't want it to be orange-orange. I want it to be, like... And all to me orange, like just a subtle bit there, you know. <laughs> I mean, subtle's gone out the window, but you know what I mean. To cut the crease, I'm going to go in with some of my paint pot from MAC. You guys can use concealer if you want. And I always use my little trick to blend the edge of that concealer so it fades rather than there being a stark line. Okay, so for the shimmers on the lid, I'm going to use two. I'm going to first of all go in with this kind of like orangey, shimmery tone from the Chi Chi palette. And I'm going to use a different brush, this one's too bulky. And I'm just packing this on the lid with my Morphe M326 shader brush. Keeping in mind, I'm actually focusing it more so along the top point, like in a corner to top, and I'm keeping this area blank. For like a lighter shimmer and just taking my precise shader brush from Zueva and just carving that edge out with that shimmer so it's real crisp and just feathering the edges of that deep orange in with the shimmer a little bit and then the next shimmer is this rose gold shade just popping that on the gap where we created and I just think it's better applying it on with my finger. I think these eyeshadows, like the shimmer shadows, are better applied with your finger anyway. And then I thought I'd be like a little bit extra and apply this foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Untamed. It's a beautiful like orangey gold shade. Mm -hmm. So I just gone and applied some mascara and lashes. The lashes I went in with are my usual, my really wispy ones. These are the Temptress Wispy from House of Lashes. I think they complement the look really well because I don't want anything like too overpowering like this daytime glam so to finish off the eyes I'm going to actually apply a eyeshadow to my waterline you guys can use an eye coal if you have sensitive eyes I definitely recommend you using an eye coal because eyeshadow is going to hurt them it's going to feel a bit painful I'm just going to take that untamed foiled eyeshadow from makeup geek and apply that to my waterline it's a little bit extra than like a nude and it's also a little bit less extravagant or a little bit more tame than like a brown eye coal that's why I went with the gold and to finish off the bottom lash line, I'm going in with the saddle brown shade and that orange shade from um, Sugar Pill. Just connecting it to the outer corner and tapering it into the inner corner. Keeping this area blank because we're going to highlight it with an inner corner highlight. And for that, I'm going to take uh, the shade and light. I think I'm going to go with an art and light today. Just like a little pop. I don't want anything like too extravagant. Like I think I'm a bit too ham on this eye. But I want it to be more like that. Like just a subtle little. The most satisfying part is highlighting my brow bone. Like the whole look. I love the brow bone part. Because it's just so clean and crisp under there. And it just brings such a beautiful like lift. And then I just apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. Just a little bit. I don't want anything like too spidery going on. So I'm just going to do like a little bit. So to continue on with the rest of the face, I'm going to keep it bronzy. I don't know if I apply blush today, but I do want like a bit of a bronze. So, yep, I'm going to take my usual guys. You're probably bored of this. I'm just like, I'm caught between like a brick and a hard wall. A brick and a hard wall? <laughs> no. A rock and a hard place is what I meant to say. So I'm taking those two shades that I usually take from the 
contour palette. Like I said, I'm caught between a was it a rock and a hard place, man? Just like so, I'm like struggling hardcore with that saying. But because like I want to purchase more products, especially like a natural beauty line. Like I want to do a full face of like natural makeup for you guys. Like oh, that's my like goal. Like my ideal video or videos to film is like full faces using natural sustainable makeup products from like sustainable beauty brands and stuff like cruelty free brands and everything like that you know like natural good for the skin good for the body wholesome products you know but I'm also like in the midst of saving so I'm really have no extra I literally have no actually and no spending money at the moment like at all so I'm, I'm in a bit of a dilemma at the moment I'm actually loving the eyes like orange really suits brown eyes it just really like makes them pop I remember I used to wear like a little hint of orange in my like crease or my eye or something in like high school when I used to go to school and I used to get so many compliments about my eyes like they used to pop and stand out and stuff and I was like stop it like I don't know I'm gonna highlight the skin now by the way if you guys haven't noticed I did color my hair if you haven't seen the video I did on it like a little vlog of my hair coloring and cutting process it was pretty it was an ordeal let me just say that but it turned out so good well I'm pretty happy with it too it went darker than what I thought it would be but I'm actually not hating it I'm actually really digging the darker hair look it looks almost black but it's actually just a deep brown but yeah if you want to check out that vlog I'll leave it linked down below as well in the cards for you guys to check out too look at me just advertising my videos it was my first kind of proper vlog I mean I've done a travel vlog on this channel like years ago but this is like my proper vlog vlog and I really loved it I really enjoyed it that's what I'm going to try and do is like incorporate more vloggy videos onto this channel because I like love I love watching vlogs I find them like a bit more fun to do like I love makeup tutorials still but I've done it for so many years now I just want to be just a bit of a change of course I'll still be doing makeup tutorials for you guys like I'm keeping it OG but I will do a few more vlogs I think as well like here and there anyway so I'm going to take my Violet Voss Highline Trio and I'm going to take the shade Star Glow which is that more tan shade initially and just highlight like the bronzy areas of my skin just to give a bit of a subtle bronzy glow and I will highlight like well I'll place it on the apples of my cheeks because it's not as intense of a glow as the moon gleam one so I like to kind of go ham on this one and just apply it everywhere and I'm going to take moon gleam on the very high points of the cheeks okay guys so I have another product to try out for you this is a face mist from Napoleon Purtis it's the jasmine and aloe vera I mean you could probably even use this before you apply your makeup as like a primer or like just a healthy faced faced mist but I'm just gonna use it to kind of lock all the powders in like just to kind of settle them down on the skin and I mean this aloe vera and jasmine is good for the skin so it'd be good wow that smells amazing oh my god Okay, so I have two new, like, lip products to try out for you guys. I think these are lip glosses, so I'm going to use one today, but I don't know which one I want to do. So this one is the shade Pink. This is the shade Nude, which is kind of ironic because they kind of, I'd say, the other way around. But So I'm going to line my lips first, just because it is a lip gloss. So I want a bit of something, something down for a base. So I just went in with that usual lip liner from Rimmel. In the shade natural and then I'm going to go over top with which one? That one or that one? I don't know. I might go in with the shade pink. I think I want a nude. Quite a nude nude. Even though this is nude, I'm going to take pink, I think, and use this over top. So this is a Napoleon Purtis lip gloss, if I didn't say already. I couldn't remember. Ooh, pretty. Especially with like that lip liner underneath. Maybe it goes pink over top. Maybe it looks nude, but it actually goes pink. Any other way around with the other one. Ooh, I really like it. Feels a little bit tacky on the lips though. And it smells really good too. It smells like fresh. So this here, guys, concludes today's fall appropriate 
to be honest, any day, any season, anything appropriate makeup look. I am so happy with how it turned out. I'm loving... Sorry, I got the hiccups. I'm loving the orange smoky eyes, especially against like brown eyes. Actually, even blue eyes. Oh, God, this would look so pretty on blue eyes, especially because like the colors like opposite sides of the spectrum. So the blue would just contrast so perfectly against the orange. I mean, any eye color, to be honest, you guys can wear this with. I think it'll look absolutely stunning. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave down below any requests that you would love to see in my upcoming videos, any vlogs you would like to see as well. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed me trying out a few different products of what I usually use. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.